Amadil Kumar and uh, I've taken up a very good example to understand the Venn diagrams. So we have in our sample space three sets A, B and C. The number of elements in each set is written down here. So from this information we need to find answer for few questions. Uh, let me write down like we can find number of elements in A. We can find number of elements in B. We can find number of elements in C. That's one we can find. Uh, and then we can find number of elements in intersection of these. For example, we can find number of elements in intersection of A and B, right? We can also find number of elements in union. Let's say C, uh, union B, okay, union B. Similarly, we could find, let's get back to complements, number of elements not in A, right? So that will mean not in A, correct? So likewise, we can find so many type of things, right? You could find uh, number of elements in uh, A or B or in C, okay? So, so this means or. And that means intersection means not, right? So let this be a question for you. So use the Venn diagram which I have given you on the left side and write down these answers. Okay. Now, I hope you got your answers by now. Okay. Now, let's write down the answers. Number of elements in A. So this circle represents all the elements in A, 15 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, right? So 15 plus 2, 17, and 3, 20 plus 1, 21. So we have 21 elements in A. Number of elements in B is 4 plus 2, 6, and 3, 9. In C, we have 5 plus 0 plus 3 plus 1, that means 9. A intersection B. Now that means we are talking about which are common to A and B, right? So these two are common to A and B, 2 and 3. So it is number 5. C union B. Union means you have to add them up, right? So some of you could add this up, but that would be a wrong answer since there are common elements, right? There are common elements. And those common elements are shown here. So what we will do here is, for C union B, we'll add these numbers. 1, 5, 0, 3, 2, and 4, right? So we'll add these numbers. Let me write them down. So let's start with 2, 2, plus 3, which are, and then this 0, I mean, plus 4, plus 1, plus 5. So you need to add all these elements to get union B, right? So it is 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15. So these are 15 elements which you have, right? So do not combine these two numbers. As you can see, these two numbers are 18. And what is the difference between the two? The difference is 3. And this difference is because of number 3 common to B and C. That is kind of included twice correct so so whenever we do intersection we have to remember inclusion and then exclusion okay so remember that part now here's another important one number of elements not in a right so one thing you could do is this is all a right so number of elements which are not in A is outside A. So you could say 4 plus 5. Am I forgetting something? How about 10? Now I've seen many times students miss out this number 10, right? So this number is very important. All which are outside A, including 10, which is not a part of A, B, or C, okay? So, so that gives you total number. 9 plus 10 as 19 correct now it says number of elements in union of this so which is you to add all of them together 
right? So you can add all of them together. So what you get is 15 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3. Let me write 0 also plus 5, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so let's add this up. So we have 15 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 and that is 30. So that is equal to 30 elements, right? Now, can you answer my question? How many elements do we have in our sample space? Well, clearly 30 are in these and 10 are outside. So we have 30 plus 10 that is equals to 40 elements in all right so that is how you should look into Venn diagram well purposely I kept this outside and as my last option but truly speaking truly speaking this is the first thing you should do first thing you should do is find the number of elements in the sample space even before getting in there okay if you do this then you ensure that you don't miss out this number 10 and don't make a mistake right so that is kind of very important many times there are many other complementary I mean compliments which will be asked for for example um, for you now the test is to find uh, these two numbers one is not in B right so figure this out and you should also say how many are uh, not in uh, not in I should say a intersection B so how many are in a intersection B which we did not in a intersection B let me write like this not in a intersection B so so you could have combinations where we are talking about complement not in right so in that case sample space is very important to be included all these answers will always include this number 10 right that's what i wanted to specify i hope that really helps i'm anil kumar and if you like my video you can always subscribe and share them thank you and all the best